that um, we, we killed ourselves this morning with that, that um, Sensi tunnel. So we have like no voice left. So you have to bear with us, right? But who loved that? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get started now. Again, Heather and I have not been able to practice this, yet, so you guys are going to. Oh, we're going to break it with you. So, you guys ready? <laughs> so we really prepared this for like two weeks, y'all. Really. We did, but we have a good amount of points to make, but we're going to try to stick on schedule because we like to talk a lot. So we might just get off topic a little bit, yeah, but you're going to bear with it. So we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about um, Team Spirit today. And again, I apologize for my voice, but that was for welcoming all you guys this morning. So it was really fun. Um, but Team Spirit to us and what it means to all of us and how you guys can maybe incorporate a little bit of that into your team. Whether you're a team of one or your team of 20 or 100, it doesn't really matter. But it's just about how you can make this uh, common ground, this, this really good, feel good place with, where everyone feels comfortable and they, they find motivation and they can get some inspiration from everybody. And it's fun! It's super fun. <laughs> so again, it's about you know whether you're just a team of one right now or if you have a couple of recruits or as you're growing, this can fit to just about any size team. So. Oh, let me breathe. I know. It, we're very nervous, y'all. <laughs> no, baby. No, 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 no. We're sisters! Woo! Woo! So really, when you're talking about team spirit, it's really about building a relationship with your team. And sometimes that can be really easy when you're a smaller team, it's easier than it is when you're a larger team. So you have to find ways to create this, this excitement and this fun for a larger group sometimes. And it's harder, but you can still do it. You have to really connect and build relationships with as many people as you can. So let's say, who got a, let, let me jump over a little bit. We can skip it. Oh, we can skip it. But who got complimented or spoke to as you walked in the door today? How'd that make you feel? Awesome. Small. Small recognition can go a really long way. It doesn't have to be large. It can be, okay, how did, Just even to a stranger. <laughs> I mean, good. I didn't know a lot of before you came in, but yeah, it can be small. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we really like to do, no, I'm going to let Heather go because I'm skipping all over the place. <laughs> Honey, we will just wing it. It's all right. So we've implemented a lot of different things that we're going to share with you today about team spirit and what we have done in our teams. Um, you can be small or large. It doesn't matter. It, you can be a team of one or a team of 20 or 300 or 1,000, however many you'll have. But it works <laughs> no matter how many people are in your team. So we all started with the same starter kit. We have the same tools, we have the same resources, and we all started with the same $99 starter kit and a team of one ourselves. So we're going to start with a little bit of our, our background and our story. So I started in August of 2008. I had never sold anything in my life, nor did I want to. I had absolutely no desire. My mom called me and she's like, ah, Jody, you need to do a party for your sister-in-law. And I'm like, yeah, I don't do those, so I'm out. But she guilted me into doing it because it was her family, so I booked it. And then I canceled it. And then I was like, oh, I feel really bad. So I ended up booking it again. And I had my fancy party. And I was like, this is cool. But I didn't really like get wild right away until I got uh, my stock of blueberry cheesecake in. Who loves blueberry cheesecake? Right? Amen. So I put that in. I was like, I told my husband, I'm like, can you smell that? It's so good. But I kept waking up. And that's when I started my sensi journey. But I have to tell you, I never once thought that I was starting a business. Making money never once occurred to me. It was simply. I loved candles, and this $5 bar of wax was like heaven in a little clamshell, and I needed to share it with the world, and I just, I did everything I could, I read everything possible, and I went out literally door to door, and that's how I started, and I did hit um, my shooting star, and I was able to hit my sensational start level three. But, that's not what people but Heather, what's your story? Mine's totally different. That's okay. <laughs> I think I was the typical direct sales lady when I started because I was doing two other direct sales businesses when I decided to join Cincy and this Cincy was my 12th direct sales business. Wow. Um, I'm a military spouse or was and just retired so that was I know, he does deserve a round of applause for that because he did 20 years in the Navy so he's I'm glad he's done. We depend on direct sales because we have to move every three years and start our business over from scratch. And so when I heard about Cincy, my Aunt Sue called me she said, Heather, I'm going to send you this in the mail, and I think you'd really like it. I think you'd be really good at selling it. She always told me I could sell Astro and Eskimo. Did you say Astro? <laughs> oh, that wasn't a profanity word. So it wasn't that. It was us. I'm from Texas, so we're going to hear a little ah. <laughs> so I decided, what the hey, I've been 9 bucks, I had a credit card that 
I just made a payment on, so I think I had $130 available. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. And so I'm like, what the heck? It's 100 bucks. I'm going to charge it on my card and get this starter kit. I didn't know what Cincy was. I had never seen a warmer. I had never been to a party, but I'm thinking, this is going to be the one. So I bought the starter kit. We go out of town to see our other military families up in Washington. We all got together to see each other. And I'm like, Aunt Sue, mail me a catalog, please. I want to see what I got into. So she mailed me a catalog up to Washington on vacation. And I get back, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I open my starter kit, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is all this? It smells so good. So then I asked my three closest friends, Geraldine, please do a party for me. My closest friends, I need a favor. You hear that all the time. It totally worked. I did not hit my shooting star, and I did not hit sensational level one, two, or three. And I, so I just kept doing parties and shared it with people, and my goal was to work really, really hard for four years. Like Orville says, like, work this business like you're getting a college degree in four years. And that's what I did, and so it worked. I, I achieved my goal of making superstar director before my fourth anniversary. So that was my story. It's a little totally different. Right, but that was the whole point of why we shared our stories with you, because your journeys and your stories, where you begin, can be completely different. But you're all given the same opportunity to take your journey where you want it to go. Everyone's definition of success can be very different. She had experience, I had none. We ended up at the same place because we wanted the same goals. So, and that's where you want to bring your team in and really create this team <coughs> spirit because you're all working towards very similar goals. You're starting a business. Bottom line is you want money. You want to make money. But it is really about, there's so much more, right? Friendships, yeah. all these other things. Mine started with money. It grew into more later, but I was one of the yeah. dollar signs. But I, started, <laughs> I wanted to pay my credit card off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were complete strangers, y'all. I want to really point this out really quick because we met at Summit in September. It hasn't even been a year yet, and we became friends and really close. How different our stories are and backgrounds and our wives are totally different, but we just met in September, and we have that connection. We FaceTime every single day. You would think we are blood-related sisters. We don't work. We are working. That's where Channel Smoke comes from, right? Woo! Woo! That's fun work. That's deep right. spirit. Right. Woo! Woo! Okay, so... Uh, we just wanted to share that with you. So really take the time to get to know the person next to you or the person that's in the back row and get find that friend today because you don't know if that's the connection and the team spirit and energy that you're going to have with another Cincy sister or brother. That is what it's all about. And it's so contagious and it's so much fun. It really is. We're going to jump right into some things we can do for recognition for your teams. Um, one of the things that we like to do, do I miss something? No, I still do it. Okay. <laughs> but we, I like to do postcards. So if anybody here is in our team or group, you know that I love to send postcards for just about everything. Hi, Miss Kay. Um, you can get these very inexpensively to send out to your team. You can do like this to print, um, overnightprints.com, and prints made easy. Follow a policy <coughs> procedure. Okay, that's my little... What's that? What's the word I'm looking for? My little uh, yes, plug? Yeah, no. Disclaimer. Oh, thank you. Look at me trying to upsell you on a disclaimer. I'm like, is it a plug? What are we selling? <laughs> so we do, you know, rank advancements. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Um, welcome to my team. I send all of those because I wanted to make sure I do everybody a warm welcome. I think we have a PowerPoint with this presentation. <laughs> Uno momento for the <laughs> I think we just missed a lot of slides. Hold, please. <laughs> Let's enjoy this. Together we stand and divided we fall. Okay, let's keep going. I told you, we're rookies. We've never used a clicker either. This is kind of fun. So I've seen this PowerPoint. We just roll with it. We're going to leave by example right now. Be authentic. Right? Thank you for learning early. Okay, so here we go. Recognition. Of course, Jody, you're wonderful. <laughs> so anyway, we are going back into the welcome uh, postcards that we sent. And I also have a, a club, which I think many of you may have um, seen or heard of. <laughs> Give the $500 club, the $1,000 club, and the $2,000 club for PRB if you do that every month. What about, hey, you were active this month. So I'm going to share a little story. This is way off script. But, so I decided to start these um, 150 or you know the 499 postcards because I wanted to recognize people who were working their business but maybe never got to that that 2,000. They were missing out. So I'm like, well, I'll try it and I'll see how this works. What kind of um, reaction I get from my team? And this is what was my deciding factor to keep these. Someone posted on my team page. 
I missed my 500 um, postcard this month, and I was so upset because I just didn't hit my, my goal. But I was surprised to open my mailbox and find a, a way to be actively to work your business postcard. So what that one person letting me know that it made a difference and it meant something to them, I knew I had to keep these postcards because they really do, they go a long way. They mean a lot to some people. So it's very important that you're giving a lot of recognition for big, you know, the big things and the little things. Everything in between needs to be recognized. I agree. And one of the things that I love doing most, and if you don't have a lot of money or maybe you don't want to buy postcards right now, um, I do free little shout outs on Facebook or I'm not that computer savvy, um, but I'll go to Google and click images and I'll find one that says congratulations or happy birthday and just post it on their wall. I don't have to reinvent the wheel trying to think of this great graphic with a birthday cake with candle sparks flying out of it. Oh, I was told not to take the microwave. Microwave away from my mouth <laughs> or a microphone. It can be used for both. But, um, you know, use those for sales, launch party, just do little shout outs. Or if somebody's got a cool idea, just throw that up there on Facebook or their wall. It takes two seconds and it's going to mean the world to them on something so small. Well, sometimes it's the smallest gestures that mean the biggest thing. Like, because they know that you took the time on your day to say happy birthday or congratulations on your first week or any of those. And when you're doing all of these little tiny things that we're talking about right now, building recognition, you're building motivation within them, you're inspiring them. All these little tiny things really start to add up to where you're gonna find your greatest successes within your teams. Um, I also use emails. I'm sure many of you guys get lots of emails. I try to over bombard people with emails. But one of the emails I like to send is a level up email. So um, if you're a certified, excuse me, if you're at, uh, yeah, if you're a certified consultant and you're promoting to lead, I'm going to send you an email that says, congratulations, you did it. Here's your next step. And it's going to lay out exactly what you need to do to get to that next step. And I do this all the way up through a director. So now I've recognized them, and now I've given them a goal and an action plan right then and there. So they've got everything they need to move up to the next level. And something I do a lot of, um, well, I've been forced to do a lot of, is text messaging. I wasn't a big texter. I still text with one finger. I don't have the two thumbs mastered just yet, but I'm, I'm a real fast one finger. And so I'll send um, text messages, just reminders for like team calls or put them up on Facebook. Uh, one of the things that I love to do is set up an event on our face, team Facebook page for our team weekly team calls because then they're like, oh, I'm attending. And then it reminds them that I don't really have to. Um, but one of the coolest things, I'm talking to call her out, she's back there, a star director, Jessica Thompson. Um, we were FaceTiming the other day, and she sends me this recorded message. So if you have Facebook, you can hit that little microphone and record a voice message and send it to someone's inbox. Do you know how excited I was to send messages to everyone I knew? She did, too. Hey, hey you and Heather, you're doing great. And they loved it. So if you don't have, if you haven't heard of this feature, I had until Jessica told me, you have to do this. It's so much fun, and it's crazy. You can do whatever you want. I even sent one to Cheyenne and Melissa. I did everyone. I really did. Yeah, she really, she's not lying. She's not lying. <laughs> um, I didn't get one. Oh, oh Joyce. Joyce. I'll send it today. <laughs> Phone call. Something I also do, y'all, and I think it's super important. How many of you, um, when you call home office, like at the end of the month, and they're like, oh, Heather, your sales are so great this month. How many of y'all gotten that from yeah. home office before? How does that make you feel? Awesome. Right? It does. So why are we not doing that for our own team? So when people join your teams and your group, I, I don't do it all the time. I'm not going to lie. But I try to do it a lot. I pick up the phone and just call them and say, hey, I just wanted to say hi. I'm Heather, your superstar director. You know, just to introduce myself. But a phone call will go a long way, so I try to do it and just check my report daily and just make those phone calls just to say hi. People are afraid of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the phone. How many, how many of you have a mirror in your house? Anybody? You have a contact mirror, like in our purse? Put it in front of you when you're on the phone. You're immediately going to smile in that mirror. They're going to hear that energy through your voice. And it might be crazy, y'all. You're going to sit there and stare at yourself in the mirror, but I swear it is going to change your voice, your tone, everything with your team, your customers, every aspect. Just get a mirror. Go to the dollar store. I just have a quick comment. Um, one of my wine director gave me slide dial. You ever know what that is? You can call it. You can, it's an app. You can call it. And you can leave voice messages without actually having to talk to them. So you can encourage, you can do 20 voicemails a day, and you don't have to sit there and talk to them all day long, but you can still do it. It's called Slide Dial. 
sly dial. Mm -hmm. It goes right to their voicemail. That is awesome. Like S-L-Y? S-L-Y? S-L-Y dial. Sly dial. So that's awesome. So another thing that I like to do, um, again, and this is completely just for fun, is called fun mail. So in my team or my group, just give me one. I like to do fun mail. You can completely volunteer for this. So you go on and you sign up for it, and every single month you're going to be given a new um, person that you're going to randomly just send them something. It has no monetary value. It can be a card. It can be candy. It can be a gift card. It can be anything you want just for fun. But in the process, you have to get to know that person. You're supposed to reach out to that person and say, what do you like? You know, what, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Things like this. Because Sharpies. I want, oh, Sharpies. It's an office depot. Put me in an office depot for two hours. I'm going crazy. What is it with office supplies? I don't know, but I have the same thing. I love them. Um, but this is another way to just get something totally fun in your hand for no reason at all. I mean, it creates excitement. And then when people get them, they're posting pictures all over our page. And now other people who maybe didn't take part in that um, voluntary action to sign up for Fun Mail are like, oh, she just got Sharpies. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so it's just another way to build more relationships and more fun. The more fun you have with your team, your recruits, with your, even with your customers, right? The more fun you're going to have in your business. So you right? made them sign up for it. Yeah, they just, like, there's a document on Facebook, and they can go in, and they can put their name and their address and everything, and then I have a person on my team who actually um, coordinates it, and she'll sign each of us a buddy every month, so it's different every single month. So other people in your team are doing it with each other. Yeah, right? yeah, that's exactly, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You get some really cool stuff up there. I love it. Fun mail, I don't, haven't organized fun mail, which is a great idea, but something I do, just because it's silly and fun, is... Way to go the extra mile. I go to the dollar store here. I'm going to throw up. I told you there's going to be. It's like a concert. Is it a concert? It's not really a concert. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Glue one to a paper. And then you can, um, look at your winning prizes. See? It's not as fun as the family store stuff, but it's something. Um, you rock. You can, and I printed wrong, so somebody's going to notice I went the wrong way on the paper. But you don't have to do expensive things. It can yeah. be something so inexpensive, but just to send out. It's just... Something silly, and I do it small enough where it goes in a regular envelope because I don't like the big mailers with the little clasp on the back. Because, by the way, you got to cover the clasp to get safe on postage. If you cover that up, it will be savings on postage. <laughs> so I try to put everything in an envelope. I'm a, I'm a cheapskate, y'all. I want to try to save money a little bit on the postage. Okay. There's my voicemail uh, message sheet from Facebook. You wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so is everybody, most people are on Facebook, right? You ever see that one person that's just kind of like, Roosevelt sold out. Now my business is done. I'm quitting <laughs> sensing. I can't I'm done. Who wants to buy my stock? I, yeah, yeah. Who's going to buy my stock? Right. Now that negative person, that one negative person, can, they'll, they'll bring down your entire team page in, in a minute, in a heartbeat. Misery loves company. Squash it quickly. Do not allow negativity on your team page anywhere. It's terrible. It, it can be like, I don't know. And remember that when you leave here and say something negative about today, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> that, you have to find the positive movie. If you're going to, if you're sitting here today and you're like, I'm a certified consultant, I, this maybe doesn't make sense to me yet. If you plan on going further in your business and you want a team and you're going to be a leader someday, if you're finding the negative in every single thing, we will tell you that you may not be successful in one. You have to find the positive. And it's there. Roosevelt sold out. That's not a bad thing. Look at how much money we just raised for the market diet. Right? How is this bad? You can call your customer and you can say, I can't believe it. Is this funny? Is this cute? He's on that order right now. He sold out. Can I get you a different one? It is not the end of your business. It's not the end of your team's business. And if you fall into that, if you allow yourself to say, oh, this is right for you, they plan better, this is terrible, they ordered more, where's that going? What are you trying to get from that? It's not going to be the environment that you want for your team. I have, oh, I'm sorry, I have potential leaders that I invite to my team so they can get to know people. I don't want them on their reading negative. I, I don't. So it's, it's a rule on us. I know mine. And oh, I'm oh. Yeah. For sure. It's a privilege. Our, uh, right? It's our right to be on this team. So keep the negativity. And if you kind of get stuck in that mindset, 
some times it is just in to be honest with yourself. If you can kind of see sometimes that you're more apt to find the negative versus the positive. It is all about personal growth and you need to start changing the way that you do situations. We could sit there and be like, hey, do you think we should put that money in our network already? What's this that came from? Too? We have to change the way we do things and we have to spread that to our down. What we do as leaders or what you do with your one recruit is what they're going to emulate. What do you want them to emulate? They're going to follow where you go. So if you're going down a negative Nancy's path, they're going with you and they're going to take your business with you. You need to go down the positive road. I don't know if I can follow that. That was really good. I'll put that up for a moment up here. It's really good. It's really good. Positivity is one of my favorites. One of the things, another huge part of the team spirit, I'm going to say team spirit, but it's a support for team spirit, is weekly training calls. This is super important. I've done this from the very beginning, and I've never stopped. If you're going to commit to doing it, people are counting on you. You have to commit and do it. I do mine every Tuesday evening. Um, do something different. I record them. It's a free service. You can record them, which I'm sure all of y'all do. And they can play them back for up to a week. So I started seeing a lot of people not participating. I'm like, what the heck can I do? This is terrible. No, but it's awkward. When you're, anybody have any questions? It's silent. It's really like, Anybody? A, a question? What are we going to talk about? It's very awkward, but it's fun. You've got to think of different ways to get them on there. Maybe have a contest. Who can get the most team members on the call tonight and have them post on your team Facebook page? I changed the title one week. I was shocked, and I'm going to call it, grab, I have to be careful when I say this. <laughs> grab your favorite drink and let's have a happy hour, is what I said in a different word. But you get the point. My participation for that call was unbelievable. They, I didn't call it a team call. It was a happy hour. So they got on the phone, we sat, we chit-chatted, we did our, our training. One of the things, it, we, we um, piqued their curiosity on the call. So we teased them a little bit so they got on. And then we had a little you know, Facebook reminder set up as well. But you can do a lot of different things to just get creative. You don't even have to do your training calls. Get someone to help you and do it for you or do it with them. Jody and I do them all the time together. So don't feel like you have to do everything. Find a little buddy to do it with. I'll do it. I mean, I'll be your buddy. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would get on a call and call it happy hour too. I mean, it really wouldn't be right. I mean, would it be a little bit more interesting than saying, um, you guys can get on this call tonight. We're going to talk about parties. Grab your favorite beverage and come on over, right? It's going to be fun. I like to, I don't do a lot of weekly training calls. I do training calls, but they're more sporadic for me. But I like to do my monthly team meetings. And these are held on the first Monday of every month. Um, and they're super fun. They're, they're consistent. So everybody knows the first Monday with you know, certain exceptions, like this week, <laughs> that they're not going to happen. But it's not necessarily just this meeting where I have this big, huge agenda. And I'm like, we're going to cover X, Y, and Z, and that's it. That's not my point. I want to get to know my people. So they start at 6 o'clock. Everybody brings a dish. We sit around until um, like 6.30, 6.45, and we talk. We have fun. We share you know, different recipes and food. We have wine. Sometimes we have a little cocktail all over ourselves. Um, we just, I wasn't allowed to say it earlier. We just blew that whistle, didn't we? I was a Diet Coke. Oh, regular Coke. What do I Anyway, my, the point of my team meeting is, yes, I want to train my team. I want to give them the announcements and what they need. But I really want to get to know them. I want to have fun. This business, we party for a living, right? We should, why isn't that in every aspect of our business? Right? So when we have a team meeting, we have a lot of fun. Sometimes we talk a little bit. We shouldn't have children in the room. Sometimes. <laughs> There's a lot of women in our, in our group, so we talk a lot about it. But, you know, the whole point of this, again, is you, know, you can have a team meeting with that agenda. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you want to share excitement with everybody. Right? You want them, your team members, to get to know each other so that they can call each other and say, I'm struggling with this. I need some help. Or, hey, guess what I just did? <coughs> and they want some support and encouragement. So it is more, again, about building that relationship. And it doesn't have to be a meeting at just your house. It can be at a restaurant. You can just have a team meetup. Yeah. We're going to have a barbecue, um, an after reunion barbecue at my house where everybody's coming and bringing their kids. This is a family business, too, so I always trust bring your kids. But if they tear my stuff up, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I have more kids, so I would never say you can't. Sign the waiver on your way in your release form. Don't <laughs> spill on my carpet. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Is that it? Uh, I think so. How many of you have ever received an email or a text message, though, um, and you're like, what is 
is she saying? I'm not sure. Is she angry? Is she happy? Yeah. Yeah. How many, has that happened a lot to y'all yeah. yeah. your team? And you're like, I don't know what she's trying to tell me. And I'm about to go off on her. I need to read it three more times because <laughs> i got to make sure this is what she's really saying. Um, I always just add a smiley face. Are you talking to the little Siri when you're talking? You're like, I'm on my way. Smiley face. It'll make a smiley face, right? It does. Really? It really does. She never listens to me. Anymore. But it makes it, if you try to add a little bit of emotion to it, right? Because we don't want to be angry. We don't want to use all caps because Lord, they'll really think we're angry at them, screaming at them. But um, where are we at? It's the same way when generating team spirit. So you've got to make sure that um, if you have a small team, it's very easy to be personal. But as you grow, Jody, yeah, I'm going to interject my story for you. I think you do. I think you need to. All right. So this is kind of off topic, too. But a few years ago, we were at a reunion and sitting there with my team, and I'm, I'm crying. Because who doesn't cry here? I mean, honestly, when you hear Heidi speak, how do you not cry? Right. She looks at me and she's like, I can't believe you're crying. I'm like, uh, how can we not? Right? I, was, I was kind of taken back by what she said to me. And she said something to me along the lines, basically insinuating, well, we only see you on Facebook. We see your pictures. We see your vacation. We see your house. We see all of these things. And we only read what, you, what I type, like what I post. And what, my, what was happening is everyone was intimidated by me. I was so taken back by this. I was crushed. It was devastating. Because this, what she was interpreting for me from Facebook was not who I was at all. But this was a huge aha moment for me. And I went home and I'm like, i got to do it. I've got to come out with my story. I've got to tell my team where I came from. And I'm not going to do that today because I have to stand up here and talk. But I made this video that was incredibly hard for me to make. And I let them know when I started, I was on food stamps. We had four kids and my husband made $11 an hour. We made it for it. But they saw just this, oh, she's got a nice house, or she's got this, or she's got this. That's not who I am. What, who I am is I'm fun. I'm real. I'm honest. I'm going to tell you how it is type of person. But that's when I really, excuse me again, decided that I needed another way to connect with my team because clearly just using Facebook wasn't working because they were getting the wrong idea of who I was. And that's where I started making videos. And that's where videos were born. Oh, absolutely. And I had a huge fear of doing videos. Well, who doesn't? I mean, you're going to look Mother of Pearl. I'm going to look here you're doing this right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you I'm do it like this. Trying to angle the camera. It's way better. Lose 10 pounds like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to diet. You guys haven't found this out yet. Yeah. 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 So, video is to show more of who you are more than a post, a tweet, or email ever will. So, you can put them on your team page. You can create a YouTube channel like we did. We have Channel Smell Good News. Um, we're a fake character, Rhonda Roots, because my hair had not been done in months. <laughs> today. Um, so the four of us got together and we started Channel Smell Good News. We were having a fun time. We came home from Summit, sending text messages back and forth, cracking up laughing. I think we're filming now. <laughs> and that's where it was born, just us having fun. So how many of you, raise your hand if you have a fear of filming a video? Like, seriously, what is a tornado? <laughs> what? Okay. Let's film one right now. I don't know. Want to film one with us? Yeah, yeah. You will get so much more response from your team with a video. All right. I promise you. All right. Y'all get ready. What are we going to do since he's You know what? How about when I, let's do something different we've never done before. Oh, okay. When I say Cincy, let's say something afterwards. Um, awesome! Cincy, <laughs> Cincy makes sense. Spirit. Spirit. We've never done that before. Let's do that. That's original. Let's do that. Okay. So Cincy Spirit. I think that's how it goes. Cincy Team Spirit. Since we're here on stage, just keep it simple. Oh my. All right, ready? We're gonna say Cincy, y'all. We're gonna say Spirit. We'll do it three times. All right, ready? On the phone three, wait, wait. Say the Spirit! Say the Spirit! Say the Spirit! Woo! 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 Woo!
me because here's the real challenge. Oh, <laughs> we have to make you feel good before we hit you. <laughs> in the stomach, right? Okay, so this is what I want you to do. We're challenging each and every one of you to film your first video while at reunion. Oh. Oh yeah, you heard it. That's really soon. Jimmy reveals. <laughs> <laughs> I may have been saying it um, in a different language. Sometimes wow. Spanish or something will come out. <laughs> your challenge is to film your first video while here at reunion. Y'all gonna do it? If you're scared to do it, find somebody to do it with you. Come get me or Jody. Or Melissa Pratt. Yeah. Or Cheyenne Patna right there next to Sean. Sean, you raise your hand. Cheyenne's right next. Jessica Thompson right next to Sean. We'll do it. Do it. Aaron Decast will do it. I can give you a list of names if you're staring. But post this on your pages. Share it with us. We're going to create our own little hashtag. Hashtag SFR Video Challenge. Who's going to do it? 